Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to A Dose of Sunshine. And if you're watching on YouTube, then remember to subscribe so you get to see this on a regular basis and hit the notice bell so that you get notifications when there's an event on. I have the two screens, one in front of me and well, both of them are in front of me, one above and one below. And I'm just like, is this gonna work where I'm looking at two screens? So I um, am still on my Queensland tour. And um, good morning, Stephanie. Uh, I'm still on my Queensland tour. I'm actually in Toowoomba at a beautiful woman, Nicolette's house, Nicolette Jane, just got here last night. And um, I'm doing two events, two guest speaking events. Uh, oh, one's actually my event on Tuesday night in Toowoomba. And the other one is, good morning, Christine. Uh, the other one is with um, a beautiful woman called Terry Adams Munn who owns um, a business called 10,000 Dreams. What a beautiful name, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very close to the home stretch after here. I will be going to Armadale and hanging out with a friend for the, for the night and then heading off back to Sydney where I get in on Friday and Saturday is my good morning, Sue. Saturday is my next half day workshop, which is um, Heal Your Inner Child. So good morning, Laurie. How are you going? So uh, if you're interested in grabbing a spot for the Heal Your Inner Child online event, then uh, do so. Just put into the links here somewhere that you'd like the link and, um, and we'll send it through to you, me and my team. So good morning, Irene. So today we're actually talking about edification. That's a big word, right? Who actually knows what edifying is? Who has an understanding of edification? And why do you think it's so important? Because uh, it's not something, it's not a word that gets used very often. Uh, edification, like, uh, is something that I learned many uh, years ago when I was doing a uh, training. Uh, good morning, Raya. And uh, good morning, Yasmin. Good morning, Grace. Look at all these people jumping on. How are you going? So edification is really, really important. Edifying is all about um, sharing uh, uh, grace, in my opinion. I should have looked it up before I came on, but what the actual, um, your visit edified me. Oh, that's so beautiful, Yasmin. I, I spent um, some time at Yasmin's house on my way up to, um, on my Queensland tour. So uh, you're such a beautiful woman. Thank you so much. And um, it was such an honour hanging out with you and your family, Yes, because uh, you've got such a big heart and it was so lovely to connect with your friend as well and your family. So it was an opportunity to share some um, quality time and some um, loving space with some beautiful, beautiful people, right? So there you go. I actually just, as I was in the middle of doing that, I realised I was edifying Yasmin. Uh, edification is about lifting somebody up. It's about um, connecting with someone and finding the qualities that you know that they are and sharing them with, you, with that person or with others. So... I, um, I'm not 100% sure if I've actually spoken on here about conscious language. I have a feeling I have. What we speak, we create. We create and we manifest what comes out of our mouth. You know, even in um, biblical or, or sacred journals or, or um, books, you will find, I'm sure, in many, and I know it's in the Bible, uh, all about edifying others and, and speaking cre creation, right? Like in the Bible, it says, um, you know, God uh, said, let there be light. 
So when we actually speak, we're creating. There's this is consciousness coming out of our mouth, and verbal uh, acknowledgement creates a vibration. And through that vibration, we're actually lifting or or depleting energy. So when you uh, are holding space for someone and you are sharing what you think of them, you want to be edifying them and speaking highly of them and what you actually express as um, the qualities that you can see in someone. Now, years and years ago when I did a business training uh, with a woman called Danny Johnson, D-A-N-I, Johnson, uh, I learned this edification and I actually was brought up in a family that uh, I had not learned how to communicate with people, believe it or not, right, because <laughs> I talk a lot. So I did not know how to communicate with people. And so when I learned edification, it was um, challenging for me to actually feel comfortable, this is years ago, right, feel comfortable with sharing who I think someone is because it's not something that naturally comes to us. We naturally, if you look at society in general, we are naturally drawn to criticise people or to find fault in people. It's just um, who we are as a human um, species or who we've been how we've been taught to behave as a human species. Hi, Helen, how are you going? Um, it's interesting, Nicolette and I were just talking about you, hun. <laughs> so uh, when we, we are naturally inclined to um, put someone down, just, just in general, I'm talking in general, right, to find fault with someone. So when you can really spend time seeing the good qualities in someone and lifting someone up, it's actually lifting the energy up of yourself, is lifting the energy up of that person and you're lifting the vibration of the energy around you and them. So there's this beautiful loving connection, which is who we truly are in our essence. So when I first started doing it, I found it really um, challenging to do and now as with what just happened with Yasmin, I start doing it before I even, like I didn't even realise I was doing that. thought, oh, I'm doing what I can, I, I can show that as an example because I naturally do that now as part of who I am is to share, you know, the beauty of somebody else and, and to express that, you know, this person is blah, 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 blah. And so when you're speaking your truth, when you're speaking um, from a place of edifying someone, you're lifting them up and you're lifting up the vibration around them. And so you're more likely to see those qualities come out in them. So if it's part of who you are too, Christine, absolutely. Yes, I because you've got such a beautiful heart, you, um, you have found yourself in that place of being able to express that uh, quite easily, right? And so, um, oh, awesome, Christine. I will get um, someone to send you the link for Saturday. Thank you. So when you're um, expressing that process, you're able to see those qualities in someone. Now, if someone has shadow qualities, and we all have shadow qualities, right? When someone has been depleted, uh, has wounds, has um, dysfunctions in some way, has what what a lot of people would call shadow qualities or, you know, that, that darker side through those wounds. If you're expressing to them the beauty that you can see under and behind that, you are sharing love with them. You are sharing your light with someone else that you know that there's a spark of light in them. And I'm going to get teary because <laughs> that is such a beautiful experience. It's such a beautiful experience when you can 
share your light with somebody else that might have have had their light withered and so through that um interaction you're going around that wound and seeing and and being able to see their light and they naturally feel that and they open that light up to you and that's where total connection can happen sometimes it can be a little bit takes a little bit a little bit of time however the more you share your light with somebody and i'm talking your heart uh your wisdom your nurturing your loving energy the more you share that with someone the more likely they're st- they're going to start as helen just put our negativity bias can be broken the more you're sharing that the more they're going to open that up and let that drop and you will see the true being come out and and you may be someone that they haven't shared that with anyone else for a long time because when that happens when you edify someone and share who you are with them and they start showing their light yeah so true yasmin right amen (laughs) when when you can share your light and let and and you know in that uh, marianne williamson um which is one of my my um, favorite poems or it's actually an extract out of her book uh, return to love where she says it's not our darkness that most frightens us is our light you know who are we to um to not share that you know like to to not be um such as beautiful being of light and when we share that light we uh and and be the example we give others permission to share that light as well and unconsciously, soul to soul, right? What happens is when someone has these shadows or may have woundings, when you're sharing your light, uh, they start feeling comfortable to open up theirs and um, and trust happens. And oh my gosh, when you have that experience and someone feels comfortable sharing who they are with you, it is amazing to experience who someone is when they trust you because through that experience real true heart connection can happen right absolutely uh, christine is part of uh, is the light in you recognizing the light in the other person absolutely so well put and so um this is one of the ways we're going to heal the world women of light it is so true this is where the movement happens by sharing your light and and i do by sharing your light you're giving permission for others to share theirs and deep strong heartfelt heart-centered connections happen and healing happens you do not have to be a healer for this to happen by sharing and expressing to someone who you see them to be and being full of gratitude and grace thanking someone for their generosity um taking ownership of your space in their space and honoring their space and their boundaries there's an art to it because it's something that we have not been programmed to do and yet it's who we are innately it's just a remembering it's a remembering of how to do this right Uh, i was going to say something oh that's what i was going to say now sometimes and this is this is just getting a little bit deeper and i i feel like you're all ready for it sometimes it can be a little bit challenging and you've got to be aware 
of how much of your light you can shine because thank you Irene because sometimes when you're shining your light it can be a bit too overwhelming for someone that's got shadow qualities that is holding themselves safe and protected and so um, sometimes and this is what I teach in in um, courses like Awaken the Lioness and Conscious Creator sometimes it's having to understand how to navigate your energy so that you're melding um, so that you're melding with somebody else and honoring where they're at and not blasting them with your light and expecting them uh, to be able to deal with it. It's being honoring of somebody else's light and being very gentle. Sometimes it's not dimming your light, it's softening your light. And these are, these are some of the things that we, you know, I teach because there's an art to that as well. Like it's not dimming your light, it's actually softening your light so that you can dance with somebody else just enough ready for them to open up. I went to an event yesterday that was a really, really beautiful event in Mullaney before I came here. And my friend Amanda and I were talking about, um, you know, I said, um, there was two people there that I felt had um, were a bit standoffish to start with. Uh, and Amanda said that's because, you know, they can sit, unconsciously they see that, that you see all of them. And so um, it takes a little while to, you know, feel comfortable. And, in, and I said, yes, but after the first couple of interactions, they started softening. And so that's because there's this gentle process of, knowing how to communicate energy to energy about how to um, how to interact and communicate so that they feel safe and they can open layers. It's like open, opening layers of the lotus, right? So um, edification is really important. If we're going to heal the world, it's really important. If, if we are going to keep this process of this beautiful expansion that's happening in consciousness, edifying someone, sharing their space, being gracious, loving them in a gentle way and honouring them by sharing what you see of them is very important. And just as a side note, if you're in business, it's actually the way to have a successful business. Because when you can come from your heart, you're actually um, expressing who you are and people can see who you are. They feel comfortable because you can see who they are and, and there's more likely some sort of rapport and connection that can happen. And that definitely has to happen in this new way of being um, authentic in business instead of what has been happening um, prior to that. So if you're in business, um, just as a quick side note, I have the Conscious Creative Business Mastermind starting very shortly where um, a lot of this information will be shared on uh, business training on how to, um, you know, communicate, build rapport, um, vibrationally shift yourself and your wounds so that uh, we can um, interact on an energetic le level to create abundance and um, success in your business so that you're um, being able to share with more people and, and create um, a beautiful world. That's what we're here for, right, is to create a beautiful world. So we're just about to do a visualisation or an interaction. Uh, I think I'm going to do an exercise this time. So for those who are on Facebook uh, and would like to jump onto the Zoom call, um, and be part of that exercise, then Irene's going to add the uh, link to the Zoom so that you can jump in on that interaction that we're going to have, that exercise. Uh, and I will see everyone um, on Wednesday Wisdom, uh, this Wednesday, which actually is going to be a bit early. So watch out for the notification for that. So Irene's just thrown in the Zoom link. So if you would like to be part of the activity, then jump into the Zoom call and I will catch you next week. Ah, take care. 
love to everyone and enjoy I um, enjoy the the day and the week and I will catch up with you soon. See ya. Hello.